Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through the fears and live an awesome life. The controversial Buddha is here. I had to back up my chair. Ooh, is she Buddhist? What is she doing? Oh, oh, stop thinking so hard. I'm nothing. Seriously, I'm nothing. And everything. Do I have my mic on? All right. <laughs> I have to turn it off because I got up at the crack of dawn. Hold on. And I'm still having my coffee. All right. We're going to talk today about, um, oh, patterns. Breaking patterns. How do you break patterns? If you want change. Did I say welcome to Landrianka on YouTube here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life? <laughs> I was busy doing this. Ooh. All right, I'll, I'll be serious. No, I won't. You know I won't. Okay. Uh, how do you change your life? You got to break your patterns. And you have them. Okay, here's a pattern. This is a big one. Are you one of somebody who wants to big change and get all excited? Yeah, yeah. oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this and then I'm going to get skinny or I, I'm going to make money or I'm going to try this new venture. I get that a lot because, you know, I'm an internet entrepreneur. I have multiple businesses online. I learned that just three years ago. It was like, ah, new stuff that changed my life. You know, I had to go through a new challenge to change my life. I had to break a pattern and a habit of saying, Oh, I'm all accomplished now. I'm an investment banker. So, you know, what else do I need to know? Guess what? If you want to change your life and go into something else, you have to break a pattern, but you have to stick with it. You have to be committed. And even if stuff happens along the way that doesn't go the way you planned, you got you to gotta keep going. There's a reason you went down that path. Now, I'm not talking about like, oh, I want this relationship. You go in a relationship. Somebody's beating the crap out of you. You stay in it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when things change and challenge you along the way, there will be benefits from it. You can break away from stuff and go into another direction. Yes, absolutely. You, you will always learn from it. You're hopefully always going to something higher and better for you. So you need to break need. I, sorry, I used the N word. You must, you absolutely must break your habits and patterns if you want change. You know, what, it's the mind that created the problem, you know, the same mind that created a problem cannot solve the problem. Einstein said that. I'm sure I messed that up somehow, but um, do I have black under my eyes? And so, uh, so you have to break your patterns. What are your patterns? What, what is it you want to change right now? Money, relationships. Just feeling bad about yourself. It's so many people. See, I meet all these wonderful people. And they're so sweet and so really awakened. And then I find out that they are absolutely struggling because I release these meditations. I did one for worry. I know a lot of people worry. I'm like, if I could do a meditation, a guided meditation, just talk to people and say, you know, you can release it. Let's focus on it. Let's look at it. Don't fight it anymore. Fighting it like is focuses in on a negative. Let's look at it. Let's release it. You're you're absolutely unlimited. What is it you're worrying about? You're creating something that doesn't exist. You're focusing on something because you've been told something else and you're, you're carrying that forward in a negative way instead of saying, oh, that's just some false thing that somebody else told me because they believed it because they were told something and they were told something. Or this is the challenge I've been given to break through instead of, oh, I feel bad, I, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm worthless or whatever. So I know these people are worrying about it and they're stuck in this pattern and we got to break that pattern because you're still talking to yourself. You still got the chatter in the head telling you something that's just not true. So what is the pattern? If you are financially struggling, there is a pattern. If you have always struggled with money, there is a pattern. You're probably not doing what it takes to make money because people think it just drops from the friggin' sky into your lap. You're going to be a damn millionaire. If I hear that one more time, I'm like, do you know what it takes every day to go to that space? Those people that have money, I mean, Bill Gates, he was in a, you know, 
uh, garage for 20 years. He didn't even go to his own graduation. So I want you to understand those people are so devoted to what they do to get that money, but they're not about the money. They're not doing it to get the money. Even Warren Buffett wasn't about the money. He's so focused on the formulas and the, the portfolios and stuff. He's, that's his passion. The money is just a, 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 an effect. The cause is his passion into really picking and choosing great stocks and good companies and what makes, he loves that. There's passion behind it. So if your pattern is, I wanna make money, I'm gonna do this and that, and you've got some crazy thing in your head that it's just supposed to happen for you, you you've gotta break that habit and say, wait a minute, what are my gifts? What am I supposed to be doing right now to give to the world? that I can be rewarded for, and I better get off my duff and start working. And what does it take to get there? Do you think that that book I wrote that was a movie that I would just putz at it once in a while? I, I cranked that baby out in a few months, including right down to the editing and released it. I would sit up till all hours of the morning writing that thing. Why? I was passionate about it. I really believed in it. I really knew it was gonna be a movie. I felt really good about it and I felt good about writing it and it happened. Same thing with my internet marketing. It has not been an easy road. I'm learning a lot of stuff that's very new to me, but I know it's the key to a new life for me. If you guys see this stuff come out, you can get free videos, learn about it. It is a completely different lifestyle. But the people that succeed, they don't quit. They know what it takes and they work their tails off. They don't, and everybody else that comes in with those habits and those patterns of lack and struggle, they come in and they think something's going to be easy, and then they get mad at everybody. Oh, I'm not making money. I'm like, well, like, are you doing anything? Like, you know, because we're working on our stuff. We're learning things. We're implementing this stuff, and it works. So there's that thinking in those patterns of that the world owes you or it's always somebody else's fault or you're not really working. You, you come home and you watch TV instead of writing that book or writing that song or finding ways to earn money or finding the stuff you love to do to earn money. You've got to break those patterns. What are you doing? How does that successful person operate? Ask them. Don't ask them to solve your problems or save you. Ask them, what are you doing every day? What do you do every day that is the key to your success? I do webinars all the time with our members and I'm like, here's what's required. You gotta be committed. You gotta be committed. You gotta get the help and find, get the answers. Find the, the help, the resources. You don't rely on anybody else. If you can't get the answer, you go find it, right? And then you've got to be persistent. You can't quit. You gotta keep going. You just, you, you gotta just blow past the doubt. And then the other thing is be creative. Every, you don't have to be like everybody else. In fact, I try to buck the system. I try, if, if everybody's doing this, I, I will try to do the opposite. Because I like being different. I like being creative that way. And I, you know, I, I was at a, I gave a speech at a conference in London and I got on stage and said, <laughs> I don't believe in the law of attraction. The whole audience booed me and I started laughing. I said, I believe that you, everything that you want to manifest already exists right now. And there's no attraction there. It already exists. I believe that you manifest your reality, that you bring all probabilities into your reality at any moment you want. To me, law of attraction is a law that you have to attract something that it's gonna, and I don't believe that. I believe that you're just resonating on the frequency. You don't attract it to you. You're actually going into that frequency of which it already exists. So that really got people riled and they went, oh, okay, that makes more sense actually. <laughs> I'm like, no, if you think that you have to attract something, then you believe it's separate from you and that it is someplace else, and it's not. It's in your reality right now, but there's a veil. So if you, you know, if you gotta pull that curtain, open and then it's right there. So you just shift in the reality and that's manifesting. It all exists. You don't have to create it. It already exists right now. 
So everybody says create. I try not to use the word create too much because it makes people think that there's something out there that has to pull together. Now situations and stuff, because we're in a dense world with um, you know linear time on this planet, uh, which is not real either, but you know sometimes things need to line up and there it operates a little slower here because you know there are people and material things that have to get into place for some of our realities to show up. So be patient with that. Be patient with that. But you have to break those habits of how you're thinking, how you're most of all, how you're operating. So people like they get into their head and I'm like, are you meditating? No. I so say you gotta break the habit. It's not easy. It's not easy when you're not, it's like working out. It's so much easier to stay in the house. You've got to push yourself. And once you create that new habit that's good for you. Like, I can't stand not working out. And like, I haven't worked out in two days and it's killing me. And I was like, okay, that's it. I'm, you know, I'm getting on my spin cycle. I'm gonna go running later on, we'll lift some weights and stuff. Once you go into the habit of making the effort that's not always easy to do, you, you get in the habit of almost being addicted to it in a positive way. You have to break your habits. So you have to ask yourself, what have you been doing? How am I operating? There's always a pattern, trust me, there's a pattern of thinking, pattern of actions. Do the complete opposite, like, did you ever see Seinfeld, George? They said if, if, if um, successful George, you know, there's loser George and successful George. So George decided, he's such a loser, if he did everything the opposite of what he normally does, then that he would be successful. And sure enough, right down to what he ate, you know, if loser George had a tuna on rye, then, you know, the new George would have egg salad on white. And he would do complete opposite. Try it. It works because you're sending a message to the universe. You're shifting into a different energy that's like, wow, you just broke it up. You're going into expansion mode. It's like, okay, now you're in a, you actually are in a different reality because you're not eating that same sandwich anymore. You're now shifting into something completely different. So it's not easy to do, especially with eating habits, working out, and especially financial mindset. So there's a, a book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza, and, and he actually talks about what happens in the brain in addition to you know your, your mind, your, your soul, your energy. But you actually can shift how the brain is wired you know that it'll it'll break those patterns and it'll rewire into other things and then it'll start to want those other thoughts and crave those other actions it actually physically will change that's why a lot of times we do feel physically different so break those habits what are the habits you have that have kept you where you are mostly thinking and mostly actions that are negative or most of all, for most of you, inaction, not taking any action. It's easier to be, it'll be always be tomorrow, right? Or, um, you know, oh, you know, oh, I'll try this and then, well, I need to work, a lot of people with the internet marketing, it's like, so are you, you know, are you doing the tough stuff? We have to learn how to build websites. I mean, we could hire people, we, well, some people do that, but if you don't learn it, then you can't teach other people and, a lot of people make really good money doing that. That's not why we join internet marketing. It's just one facet of it. You know, we're making money online with many, many ways. We just learn how to create businesses online. That's all we're learning. And there's a lot of different things to that. A lot of people, they, they want to skip the tough stuff. They act like babies. No, this isn't for me. Okay, go, great. Go back to your job that you hate so much. Is that your solution? So you have to decide, do you want to make a difference? You have got to take the action. You've got to break the patterns, the habits. You try one thing. So today, let's say today, I'm not going to eat any meat anymore. I'm not going to have the stuff that's bad for me anymore. I'm going to cut sugar out of my diet or whatever. You know, shift into new realities by not being the same person. And watch what happens. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to make a much bigger difference than you realize. You are whole and perfect strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you. You are a miracle worker, my friend. Fact. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it happen. Namaste.